Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this little teacup and saucer decoration. You can do whatever you want to do with it. Put potpourri in it or some cake flowers or something in it. Whatever you want to do. Um, I'm using, I'm going to set it to the side here, um, peaches and cream, which is a 100% uh, medium weight four ply cotton. Um, the color that I used here was called aquamarine. If you want to use that color for the video, I'm going to use this, some scraps of this pink that I have. Um, I think cotton would probably work the best. It's going to hold up the best. Also, um, to stiffen it to where if you don't stiffen it, it doesn't stand very well. I just use some um, hairspray. So just to, if you have a can of hairspray laying around, I'll show you how to how to do it. But it doesn't make it overly stiff. See, you can still it's all movable, but it makes it where it stands up nice and it's not going to fall down. If you want to put stuff in it. And then if you have any fake flowers or something, just glue them on with hot glue if you want to. That's up to you. And then I'm going to be using a size G, which is a 4.25 millimeter crochet hook. And you want to start out with a slip knot on your hook. And we're going to start with a chain of five. We'll start by making the plate first. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch here to form a ring. If you want to use the magic circle here, that would work too. Like that. Now I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to work 18 double crochets through the center of the ring. So I'm going to yarn over and go the right through the center, draw up a loop, and then do my double crochet. So that's one, two, three, four, five six seven okay once you got all your your 18 double crochets you can slide them over to make them all fit and you can usually pull your tail to make that center circle a little bit smaller if not I always just sew it up at the end with a yarn needle now you want to go ahead and slip stitch into your first double crochet and it's going to be a, a little bit of a like here a lower double crochet because we just chained one and then we did one so it's not quite as high as them but once you slip stitch into it it'll go right up high with the rest of them and that will end round one okay I'm gonna start by chaining one and I'm gonna go right back into that same stitch and do one double crochet that same stitch that we just slip stitch into and do a double crochet and then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to put one double crochet into the next stitch and then I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to work one double crochet into the next stitch and chain one one double crochet into the next chain one and I'm just going to repeat this pattern all the way around it's one double crochet in every single stitch with the chain one in between each of them. Chain one. Chain one. So I'm going to work this all the way around and I'll see you back at the beginning. Okay, when you make it back around, you still should have 18 double crochets and then there'll be a chain one in between each one. So I just did my last double crochet and I want to make sure I chain one after it and then I'm going to slip stitch right here into my first double crochet and that will end round two. Okay now for round three we're going to slip stitch one time over here to this first chain one space. Now we're going to be working in the chain one spaces. And I'm going to do a V stitch into this chain one space. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go put two double crochets. 
one, two, and then I'm going to chain two, and then I'm going to put two more double crochets into that same chain space. So that's the V stitches on this pattern. Just like that. Now I'm going to skip this next chain space and I'm going to work into the next one and I'm going to do a V stitch into that. So skip this and into the next one I'm going to go put two doubles. One, two, a chain two, and two more doubles. like that. Now I'm going to skip this next chain space here and work into the next and I'm going to put a v-stitch again, two doubles, chain two, and two more doubles. And this is the repeat all the way around this time. Skip the next chain space working in the next, do a v-stitch in it, two doubles, a chain two, and two doubles. That, skip a chain space, and v-stitch into the next. And you want to work this all the way around to the beginning and when you get back to the beginning you should have a total of nine of these V stitches. Okay once you make it all the way around and you have your nine V stitches you want to go ahead and slip stitch into your first double crochet and that will end round three and I'll just show you right now whenever we start to do the cup after we finish the plate we'll be starting it in these skipped chain one spaces of this of round three the ones we skipped that's where we're going to start the cup. That way you'll know later you'll be able to, we'll come back to it. Okay, for round four, you want to slip stitch two times over to this next chain space. So, one and two. Now we're going to start by chaining one and working a V-stitch in this chain space. So we're going to go ahead and work two doubles. <clears throat> a chain two and two more doubles. Oops. One, two. Now this time we're gonna, and then we're gonna jump to the next V stitch there in the space of it and do another V stitch. So we'll do two doubles, chain two. And two more doubles. And we're going to chain one in between these V-stitches. And now we're going to jump to the next V-stitch right there. And do a V-stitch again. Two doubles. Chain two. And two more doubles. I don't know why it keeps splitting. And then chain one in between. And that's the pattern this time around. Or the repeat. Jump to the next V stitch. And V stitch in the chain space of it. Two doubles. Chain two. And two more doubles. And chain one in between. So I'm going to keep going around and you still should have a total of nine of the v-stitches and then you'll have nine uh, chain ones in between each v-stitch. Okay once you make it all the way around you want to remember to do chain one after your last v-stitch and then we'll end round four with a slip stitch into the first double crochet like that. Now we're going to slip stitch Two times again to start round five over to the next chain space. And two. Like that. 
Now we're going to chain one. Now I'm going to work three double crochets into this chain space. And so there's one, two, three, and now I'm going to do a pico on the top of this third one. So I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and I'm going to come back down and slip stitch. I like to grab like the, the slip stitch into the first chain. I like to grab the side of the stitch like that. I think it holds better. And just go ahead and slip stitch. And that forms that little point at the top. Now I'm going to yarn over and do two more double crochets through the same space. Two. So we did five total double crochet, but on the third one, the center one, we did a pico on top of it. Now I'm going to do a chain of three. One, two, three. And right here in this chain one space between these two v-stitches I'm going to single crochet right through it just like this just like that and then I'm going to chain three one two three and in the next v-stitch I'm going to do this shell again so I'm going to yarn over with that chain three still on my hook and go in and do three double crochets there's one Two, three, and then I'm going to chain three and do the pico on this one. So I chain three, come back down, and I like to grab this and then the side here, mix it, and then slip stitch like that. And I'm going to go ahead and do two more double crochets into the same spot one and two so again we did that shell again it was five double crochets but the third one has the pico now I'm going to chain three one two three and then in between these two v-stitches right here I'm going to single crochet through that space and chain three one two three and with this chain three on my hook, I'm going to do the shell again in the middle of this V-stitch. So I'm going to do three doubles. One, two, and three. And I'm going to chain three to make the pico on top of it. Come back down and slip stitch right there. And then I'm going to do two more doubles into that same spot. That way I'll have my total of five double crochets and my one peak over there. Just like that. And that's the repeat all the way around. This time I'm going to do a chain three again. One, two, three. Single crochet right here in this space between these two v-stitches. Just one single crochet right through. And then you chain three again. One, two, three. And jump right here to this V-stitch and do our shell with the pico on it. So there's one, two, three. And then your pico, chain three. Come back down and slip stitch. And then do your other two double crochets into that same space. Just like that. And then chain three. Single crochet right here in this space between those two v-stitches, chain three again, and do your next shell right here. So I'm just going to repeat that pattern all the way around. Okay, I've made it back around. You should have um, nine of these 
shells again. I just did my last shell, so I'm going to chain three and then a single crochet in this space between these two V stitches. And then I want to chain three again and then slip stitch into my first double crochet just like that and now I'm going to tie this off I'm going to clip my yarn here like that now you can kind of straighten them out and that is the plate it's pretty it probably make a pretty coaster or something too if you wanted to use it as that okay for the cup now remember I showed you where we were going to start the cup you want the right side of your work facing you right here in between round two and three these skipped chain one spaces we're just going to start in any one of them like right here and that's how you want to start it with it facing you like this and we're going to go ahead and chain one and I'm going to go ahead and if it helps you just fold your work down like I'm doing and do a v-stitch in this space so I'm gonna go right through and do this first round kind of the hardest to get into the spaces two doubles chain two and then two more doubles so one and two and I'm going to do this in every single one of those skipped chain spaces. So I'm going to look for my next one. Right here has the V-stitch in it. So it's this space right here. So I'm just going to fold over and go right through there like that and do my V-stitch. It's kind of awkward, but it's not hard. And go ahead and put two doubles. So there's one two and then I'm going to chain two and put two more doubles one two now I just kind of unfold it and I look to where my next one needs to go and you can see right here so I'm just going to grab it and pull my work over and right there through that space and I'm going to do my V stitch so two doubles, chain two, and then two more doubles, one, two, okay, I'm all unfolded again, and look, and you can see right here is the skipped one, so I just kind of grab it, and fold it, and then right there through that space is where I need to go and do my next v-stitch so I'm gonna do this all the way around in every one of these skipped spaces that we skipped in round three and when I get back around I should have nine v-stitches Okay, when you make it all the way around and you have your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine V stitches, you just want to go ahead and slip stitch into your first double crochet. And that will end that round one in the cup. Like that. Now we're just going to do three more rounds like that, working in the V stitch spaces. So we're going to, round two, we're just going to, round two, three, and four are going to be the exact same. We're going to slip stitch over two times, like that. And then I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to do a V-stitch right here in the chain space of the V-stitch. So two doubles, chain two and two more doubles and then I'm going to jump to the next one right here in the chain space and work a v-stitch two 
two doubles, chain two, and two more doubles. Jump to the next one right here and do the same, another V-stitch. And we're just going to work a V-stitch in the chain space of every V-stitch all the way back around. And you should still have nine V-stitches. And then you'll just slip stitch into your first double crochet, slip stitch over, and do it again. So counting this very first row, we're going to have a total of four rows. See, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to go ahead and do mine, and I'll meet back up with you in just one second. Okay, once you got your four rows done there, total four rows from the saucer, just go ahead and slip stitch into your first double crochet of that row and tie this off like that. Okay, now you can kind of straighten it out a little bit. And now we'll make the handle. Okay, you can start in any one of these stitches, but we need to start. This is the top row. We're going to start right in between the there's one, two, three, four rounds of the cup. We're going to start between the third and the fourth round like that. Just go right up through there and grab your yarn. Pull it through and I'm going to do a chain of 10. Just like that. And now I'm going to take it, my chain, and I'm going to stretch it. Here's where we started it straight down, and I'm going to attach it right here on the bottom. So, try to do it where you can see it. And I'm going to attach it with the slip stitch. Straight down the same row. Straight down to the very bottom. I'm going to go right up between the, the cup and the saucer row. Go right up through there in between and slip stitch it. It's going to be kind of tight and kind of difficult. But just go right through and then slip stitch it on your hook like that. Pull it tight. And then chain one and kind of kind of twist my work around turn my work and now I'm going to work up this chain and I'm going to work 24 single crochets up this chain so I'm going to just go right through the chain and single crochet 24 times so that's one two three, four, five, six. Okay, once you get your 24 single crochets, you're going to kind of have to squish them a little bit to get them all to fit. Just go ahead and do a one slip stitch at the end of the chain here, just right through the chain. You did your 24 single crochets and just go under it and do a slip stitch also. And then pull it off and you can tie that off. Now you just have to work with single crochets now to get them, kind of move them around to get them the shape of a handle. There's going to be probably a little, if you make them a little tighter up here at the top, it'll make more of a curve and make it look more like a handle and a little bit looser down here. So I just kind of work with them and make squish a few more up here together and that kind of gives it a little curve to the handle. But you just keep working with them more and go ahead and hide all your tails and I'll show you how to spray it because this is what it looks like if you don't stiffen it. It kind of just doesn't really set up any. So I'm going to hide these tails and I'm going to go grab my hairspray. Okay, I just have regular little hairspray. I brought it outside because it always gasses me out if I do it in my room. So you just set it down here and you kind of play with it a little bit and get it to the shape that you want. And then you give it, douse it real good with hairspray.
Now you can do it again. It gets a little bit sticky, but work with it now until you get it just how you want it. Get your handle just right. It takes a little bit to get it just right, but once you get it just how you want it, you want to go ahead and give it another good spray. Like that. And then after that, I always kind of just pat it down because the hairspray leaves a little bit of pellets water or hairspray on it. So get them off of there just by patting it. And again, you can fix it around a little bit. And once you get it just how you want it, I always just leave it out here to dry. Take like 20 or 30 minutes or so. And then it'll be, it's not like real stiff when you get done, but it'll hold. It stays up just like this, but it's still bendable. Once it's dry, you can bring it back in. And if you want to put some little fake flowers on it, you can just hot glue them on there right down here at the bottom. If you want, that's optional. And then you're finished. That's all there is to it. Um, and of course, if you know another way to stiffen fabric, I mean, you don't have to use my way. I mean, that's not the way I use all the time, but I think it works good for things like this. I mean, if you look on the internet, there's, there's lots of ways. You can use fabric stiffener, starch, and sugar water. I don't know, but I used the hairspray at the time, and it worked pretty well for this project. But if you make this or anything else, I'd like to see a picture of it. You can post a picture of it on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. And until next time, have a good day.